Hi there, uh, Dan from Eagle Nook Resort. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how to rig up these lighthouse lure teaser heads with the wire. It's something that we run here for many years. I've got the uh, tie wire that I pick up at a marine store. I like a little bit thinner grade than the pre-bought stuff. First thing we do is put a little bend on the end, just the width of the nose of the pliers. And uh, the lighthouse lure teaser heads come with uh, the pre-drilled holes, which is a really nice advantage compared to the old days. I don't want to go too far back, but we used to have to melt a hole through these things and not add it another step that we don't have to do. A little bend, feed it through. Bend it over, give it a good squeeze, and don't squeeze the fin off your teaser head, because that will not work for you. So we'll work from the back of the head here and rig her up like that, and you're good to go. So now that we got that, uh, I'm going to show you how we um, add the hook and the leader line and how to put the bend in it and get a couple different rolls out of it. Make sure you tie the hook on the right end of the, the line. So basically, before you start this process, make sure you got your wire nice and straight. It helps a lot when you feed it through the chovy. Pull out the, uh, the pin, put it in your mouth because that's where it should go. It's a pro guide. Anchovies like this goes with the back of the anchovy towards your thumb if you're, you're right-handed, holding it in your left hand. Behind the gill plate, and slide it through. Now, it does bind and stick a little bit, but just back it up and keep going. And then just keep your hands on here and you can literally feel it coming through. And you want it to come, if you have to bend the tail or whatever, but you want it to come right through the V in the tail if you can. It's a little tricky, but, and I like it to be on the outside of the way that you're bending it. So I'm bending it, gonna bend it this way, so I want that to be on the outside. If you do it the other way, it'll just rip. It'll rip through, all right? And then one of the rolls that I use is pretty straightforward. It's just an even sort of C-bend, anchovy straight, kind of looks like that. Um, the pin should go on the outside of the roll so that the pointy part is on the inside. So it all just looks really nice. Take your hook. I go about halfway back, depending how it goes. And I try to follow that line where I poke the hook through don't go through the anchovy and just bury it like that and pull that line through so that on the outside again it's that's what the fish sees technically that's what it's going to look like the nice thing about this roll is even if it's faster it'll still it'll still look good so even on a slow troll if you pause to get a fish on the other side that thing will still be moving yeah you can change your rolls. The wire's in there, the bait's still good. Um, so the other way to do this, kind of straighten it back out again. I grab the tail without removing any scales and give it a bend up and then nose down like that. So you get fairly straight body, kicking the tail, nose down. And what this one should do is it should dive a little more and go a little faster. works. So for more tips like this, tune in to next week's episode or check us out online. Check your leaders. We'll be right back.